Hello, this is Wempire. For today's lesson, I want to explain to you guys the wedge. Okay, the wedge is a technique. It is pretty much a striking technique. It is a, it's, you could attack with it. You are striking the opponent with it. But um, even though it is a striking type of technique, it can be used offensively or defensively. So uh, real quick, to do the wedge, it involves the, the knife, the, the knife hand of, of, your, uh, of your hand, the knife edge hand, also the blade of the forearm. So uh, it starts here and it goes all the way to here. So it's pretty much the blade edge of your arm. That's what we're using. And the way to do it is we're just gonna go like this. So it could be done like so, it could go upwards, it could go downwards. And the idea here is it's almost like a grazing shot, okay? So I'm using the blade edge once again, the hole from here all the way to here, to like glance or, or graze by onto the target. This is different from directly smashing with my forearm, okay? Or going, coming this way, directly smashing like this. That's not what I'm doing. And because that's not what I'm doing, because it goes this way, this way, because I'm doing it that way, I could go really hard. I could strike really, really hard to the opponent, and there is minimal risk on my part. So compared to a palm strike, a punch, a chop, um, even an elbow in certain cases, the wedge is much safer to me, the, the person doing the move. So because of that, I think it's great. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful technique because, you know, once again, it's safe on my part, minimal risk to me. And to me, that goes a long way. And because of that, I don't have to train it a whole lot either because like palm strikes, chops, and punches, I mean, you, you got to condition and you got to train that a lot. Whereas the wedge is, once again, because it's so safe for you, it, uh, it really doesn't require any kind of conditioning at all. So uh, really a phenomenal technique in my opinion. Okay, so the other thing is the wedge can be used offensively or defensively. Okay, so offensively, like I've been showing you, you pretty much just put it right there. You enter in like so. Defensively, it would be like they're striking at me and as they strike at me, right there, I use the wedge to attack like the arm or the leg, if it's a punch or a kick or, or whatever. Um, the idea here is different from a check or a parry where I'm just cupping the hand. I'm actually driving the blade onto, onto their arm or leg. You know, that, that's the idea there. So like so, it is, it is a type of strike, like I said. Okay, so uh, the next thing is how do we use the wedge for Filipino martial arts. And in Filipino martial arts, let's go to the Heaven Six, very staple uh, technique in the, in the Filipino martial arts. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that's the Heaven Six. And as you saw right now, I just, these are all strikes. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, it's all great and everything, but this requires a tremendous amount of skill, um, not because of the pattern. The pattern is actually not that difficult, but what is difficult here is the distance and the timing because this opponent is alive and they can move around in real life. So, you know, and their arms might come up or whatever because this is a dynamic human being and that is also probably gonna be fighting back. So that's why if you watch boxing or kickboxing, it takes a long time to develop those skills, what, what those guys have. It, it takes a tremendous amount of skill to be able to maintain this distance because if they come in too close or if I come in too close, I get too excited that I landed my shot, I get in too close, now I don't have that anymore. I'm, I'm stuffed. So I need the distance to, bam, to land that shot. And once again, they're moving, so it's difficult to maintain that. And if they move back too far, then I, I, can't, I can't reach. So I got to, that's where the footwork comes in, you know, and, and to be able to gauge that distance properly. So once again, it's, 
that requires a tremendous amount of skill. Now, with if you combine the heaven six with the wedge, then it's not a problem because what you're going to do is you're going to go boom, boom and here. You see, I just go ahead into the clinch. So if we get too close, it's not a problem, right? So I don't need to maintain the distance. I need. I don't need to have those skills. So right here from number one, I could immediately go into the wedge or one and number two can be the wedge or one, two, and number three can be the wedge. So pretty much any, any time I'm clashing in boom, 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 and the wedge comes in naturally. I'm not even really thinking about it. When it comes out, it comes out. So when it's there, I can use that wedge to for multiple purposes. But the reason why I'm going in close, if I could already get away, I would have. But this is a situation where I, could, I can't. So it's a really bad situation. They're on me. I can't get away. So then that's where this comes in. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I would rather be in close and then we're in a grappling type situation and have this person grab a hold of me rather than punch me. So it's pretty much, it, it operates off of that very simple idea. I'd rather have them grab me than strike at me. So that's why I'm going in close. Okay. So anyway, I uh, hope that helps. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.